So I need to check here. Oh, the right angle? Yeah, to check here though. And oh, there I was live. I think that's me. Yeah, because that's my thumbnail. Okay, perfect. You look good. Oh, really? Oh, when you, okay, let me see. Let me oh, see. yeah, let me see. Step it back. One person in here. Hey, guys, we're just getting set up. Let me go get this. Uh, one person in here. Hey, yep, guys, testing. we're just getting set up. Let me go get this. One person in here. Hey, yep, guys, testing. we're just getting set up. Okay, yeah. Looks good to me. I'll check yours. Well, yours just popped up. Let me check yours. Oh, wow. Two people in here. Two people, yeah. Charlie got two people. Get it. Two people in oh. here. But this mic isn't going to be. No. I mean, the sound's not going to be good on there. We already I was going to tell you. Did you see a cute little thumbnail? Yeah, no, that's really good. That's my <laughs> thumb. Yeah, my thing is, my beard is hitting my. Um, I have. Oh, we don't have another iPhone dongle. Dang it. We need another iPhone. I dongle. thought we had two. No, we have two red cords. We don't have two white cords that plug into it. Mm. That's what stinks. Okay, guys. I have this for your chat, Carl's garage. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Turn off the notification for him. Look at us. Flint, Michigan, in the house. What's up, Patrick, Julian? Hey guys, okay. comment down below who's in here so I can know who's in here. Yep. Okay, our paper. We we might need that little thing, babe. What? The little. The little thing. Ledge. Yeah. Little ledge. Oh, I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to watch this right here. Yeah, baby girl, she's gonna watch it right there. Okay, well I'm gonna need to get pins and stuff, so you this might not be the best. Maybe. Maybe I can watch it right here. Like or something. Okay, so our pins. We have pins here. Okay, so we're just setting up. If you have any questions about DBA or LLC, please comment down below. Put your questions down, and then as we get set up, we'll have our own content, but as we get set up, we can um, just answer any questions you may have. Yep, so we got Midway, GA, I'm in the building. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Oh, How you're you doing? here. Yeah, I'm here. You're here. Yeah, you're here. yeah you're we're here. both here. We're both here. This is good. But if you want to hear, not if you want to hear good audio. That we're mic'd up on straight out of content. So, yeah, we're mic'd up on straight out of so, content. So the audio is going to be a little. No, I'm not telling you people I to leave. I'm just letting them know. <laughs> I'm just letting them know as we start. So, all these are dry erase markers? Yes, okay. All of those. And then we have these two here that are in the thing. Yes, these are all dry. I took out all the other markers. Okay. Yep. So, we will. We only got four people here. How many we got over there? Three. Three. Okay. Three people in here. Let us know who's in the chat. Comment down below. Yeah, we are going to get, we will order the thing since we'll be going live. We will order the other dongle so we can, at least this one will have like the shotgun mic and pick up a lot better. Because mm. it's so far away, it's really echoey. So yeah. at least the other mic that we have, it'll pick up decent Look at that's pretty, that's a lot of space. We're, that's good. Yeah, you might be able to come in a little that's more. That's what I was thinking. It looked cool. I like the way it looks. Yeah. Like with the light right there, it looks pretty cool. Like we can do mm. classes like this versus the traditional way like this. I kind of like that one. This is good. No, both angles are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yours looks good. So we have two cameras and we're like, oh, yours looks good. Yeah. So write your questions down below before we get started. We're going to give, we only got five people in here now. And again, this is episode one. So we're going to try to make this, this is might be our official podcast, the way that we kind of move forward. So you will be able to get this on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and stuff like that. So we just got to come up with the name, the logos and stuff like that. Well, but we've come up yeah, with the Flash name. Business Class, we will. Business Class. Yep. Well, I was just thinking Flash Class, but then I was like, yeah. class, business in there. So today's topic is DBA and LLC. When starting a business, what does that say? Are you guys streaming from your phones? Yes. Yes, iPhone is the best form of device to stream from it's not for in this house it is in this house but That's it's not the best form of streaming in this house <laughs> why would i talk about you in this house yes yes we are streaming Audio from both good. of our iphones yep and if you want to if yours if yours looks bad 
hit the hit the little gear and raise it to 720 and then it'll be clear. Yes. Because a lot of people thinks it think a lot of people think or thinks that it looks bad, but then they don't raise the resolution. They're looking at like 360. So hit the, the Mr. Woods. <laughs> hey, you got Mr. eight Woods. people in here. Yep. How so even you, mine Mr. looks Woods. bad. You hit the gear in the top corner. Right now I'm running in 144p. You want to hit advanced and you want to go up to 720p and then th bam, there you go. Yes. I had to do that on this phone too. I was like, what the heck? And I'm actually going to get off of the Wi-Fi yeah. just so, just so we don't hold up any of the bandwidth since we're running live. Mm. Team iPhone. Yeah. Oh, I, we Lord. prefer Android. We prefer Android, but you know, we film so much. Our computers are Mac. Uh, everything that we do is Mac. So it's easy to just film, airdrop it right to the computer. But you know, ecosystem. Yeah, ecosystem. The iPhone ecosystem. It works. But we really love, well. we love our Android devices. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm texting you. That's what I'm reading you guys' comments on. Is our yeah, both of our Android devices. So two iPhones filming, two Android devices. So. <laughs> you know, Mr. Straight Out of Content has to have both. Mm -hmm. All the time, an Android phone and an iPhone. Mm -hmm. We're just letting a few more people get in here, get in How the chat. I got four people over here. What you got? Eight. Okay. All right. Hopefully, we get to 10. Let us know. Write your questions. If you guys already know about a DBA or LLC, please then go ahead. This, again, this video is going to run, it'll run live, and then I will download it, edit it up, and then I will re put it back out. Uh, for other people as well and then we'll just try to continue to p and then we'll also put out the audio version as well so for all the people listening in the future uh thank you for listening and, uh, come <laughs> on over and check out the video version of this and and hit that subscribe button yes there go there go santa's favorite teachers carl and shelly yeah we're definitely santa's favorite teachers santa's favorite oh yeah, because yeah. that's funny yes we are youtube's favorite teachers yeah definitely uh, so today we're going to talk about DBN LLC. As you all may know, you all may already know what a DBA LLC is. Yes. So this is kind of, uh, we're starting from the basics, starting from the beginning. And as the episodes go on, we will get into more complex uh, subjects and other things like that. But we are just starting from the basics. When you start a business, do I go with the DBA? Do I go with the LLC? And what are the differences and what will help me with my business where I'm at right now? So yes. those are the things that we're going to talk about. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I got any questions over here? No, I have four people over here. Perfect. Well, let's get this up to center. All right, let's go. Okay, so I guess we should start with what are the definition of a DBA? What is the definition of a DBA? What is the definition of a DBA? You have it. Well, DBA stands for Here we go. doing business as. Doing business as. So we're only, oh, by the way, we will be using a lot of spell check up here whenever we write certain words because that's, uh, <laughs> that's, I was not a good speller in school, so that's what we'll be using. But yes. DBA stands for, I can write that. Doing not, business as, I have a question not, here. We have an LLC. Do we have to also do a DBA? That is a good question. That is actually a great question. You're left-handed? No. Oh, I was like, do I even know you? <laughs> Why are you writing with your left hand? Because I can't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she learned something new today. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't know that? I didn't know what. I can write with my left hand? Everybody can write with their left hand. Do it. Okay. Go ahead. You write doing business as after. <laughs> well, I'm going too oh, fast. Oh, you're going too fast? You went like super slow I like didn't. a baby. I didn't. You did. I did not. This is not what this podcast is anyway, about. Who can write? Cheating. Anyway, so hold on. Uh, I do the same thing, Carl. Oh, I know, pick me. DBA, which stands for doing business as, represents a company or individual running a business <laughs> under, a, under a fictitious name. Great, thank you. Come on up, Mr. Woods. Come Tell on. us what DBA is. Exactly, means. exactly. But go ahead, read them the definition as well. DBA uh, is also doing business as, which is um, a name that allows you to operate under a name other than your legal name. Yes. So that is taking Carl Adams as the owner operator, and now you are, what is your DBA name? Carl's Garage? Straight out of content. Yeah. Straight out of content. Yeah. So, um, if you operate as a sole proprietor or 
Oh, you're right. Because yeah. I'm trying to yeah. yell for them so they can hear me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, DBA is basically a nickname and not a business structure. It is not provided the same legal protection you would receive from an LLC or any other business structure. Oh, before we go any further, you wanted to give them the rundown of this. You had it perfect at Kroger. We are not CPAs. Go on, come on, you had it really good. No, I forgot. We are not licensed professionals. We are not CPAs. We do not have a legal right to give you this information. We are simply showing and learning, I mean, and teaching what we have learned as business owners that both have DBAs and have LLCs. So this is just our experience. Um, yeah. This is just our experience. We had to do that disclaimer not, before. Oh, we move. disclaimer. Yes, we, we have to do that disclaimer. Yes, before we move any further. And uh, yeah, we are in no way giving financial advice. I think yes. that's another one you have to say too. Well, that's another episode. Well, just in I'm general. Just Let's go ahead and say it. In fact, we're going to put this in every video too. I'm going to put this in text in every video. License. Okay, now let's move on because we're getting very serious there. Yeah, so a DBA separates. It is basically a nickname for your business structure. You take your personal name and you do business as uh, straight out of content. Yes. That is a DBA. Do you want to go to LLC next or do you want to go more? Go DBA? into or, DBA? Well, this... Uh, we Person. have an LLC. Do we have to do a DBA? You do not. If you have an LLC, and let's say we created um, STD Vinyl and Apparel with our LLC, and we want to uh, do another business under a, a FCD Vinyl and Apparel, we would get a DBA and do business as a different company under our LLC. So if you want to create other businesses underneath your LLC, you can do DBA to do that. And that term would, so the term for that is called parent company. Yes. So your, wherever the camera is, so your original company that you created the LLC, uh, whatever new company that you create, whether or not you create another LLC under your original or a DBA under your original, it will kind of elevate your first LLC up and then your other company will be underneath that and that first company will be the parent company and then the company underneath will be doing business as their name, but they will be directly related to that first LLC, giving you a little more separation between your companies. Yes. And then with a DBA, when you are able to obtain that DBA, that now allows you to open bank accounts in that business name mm -hmm. um, for your business, but not necessarily giving you those benefits of the LLC. So we will get to that. Yes. So you're able to open business accounts with uh, doing business as certificates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Uh, let's see. You want to go straight into LLC or we just want to... Yeah, let's go into LLC because they're going to tie together and the reason why... Uh, Should we write down what, what all this stuff we said? Or like DBA is... Well, we can. We got doing business as and then we'll do LLC just to just to kind of notes on here. Just, otherwise, we'll be writing paragraphs. That's what I'm saying. So should we write notes? No. No, we got, we got, these are the notes and we'll do more as okay, we... Okay, this is a show and we can write with left hands. Baby, we, we got it, baby. <laughs> we got it. We're going to do um, LLC next. Okay. And then we will do the comparison. So I would hope, oh, here we go. Okay, thank you for elaborating on my question. I understand. Perfect. If you have any more, just let us know. What you got over there? Uh, Mr. Woods says limited liability company. Oh, he gave the definition. We're about to give the definition. But Mr. if you're Woods, watching this, Mr. Woods is giving you. the definition yes, for the limited liability. Limited liability. This is my similarities and differences. This is my DBA LLC yes, we, difference. Yep. What? You want to write it since you're reading it? You're about to write? You're about to read? No, I, no. Well, it's this up is to, hot. Here, you you write it and then you... And read it? Yeah. What you're are looking you going to do? I'm going to talk. I know what it stands for. So, Chelly's going to write it. So, LLC stands for, and you can go ahead and write it, and write it in red right here. Limited Liability, is it company? Do you know or you I always forget. Know. I always forget. Yes, company. Yes, Limited Liability Company. Go ahead and write it since you're looking at it. Go ahead, write it, write it underneath. LLC. Yeah. Oh, right. Limited. limited. Yeah. Yes. Limited liability company. Now I don't want to mess up. Well, don't come too far this way. I'll be blocking. I don't 
how I write really big. I know. <laughs> Crayons. How does that look? <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, see, I'm kind of blocking it all. Limited liability company. Yes, limited okay. liability. Oh, you want to write some more? Oh, I was going to write what it is. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Isn't this what this board is for? Yeah, go ahead. Start with number okay, one. Okay, go ahead. Oh, what, is, what are you going to write for the first one? It protects yes. your per, your own personal assets and companies uh, from the company's debt. Elaborate. Well, yes. Okay, so when I spoke a little bit earlier, when we're talking about separation, when in the world of business, if there's any liability that you will possess in your business, you want to lean towards a... LLC. And I'll give you a prime example because we did this. So this is an, an experience from exactly what we did. We operated under a DBA, under Flash Custom Designs, under a DBA for a year, year and a half, mm -hmm. for about a year, or no less than a year. The reason why we did that is because our only liability was somebody not liking their shirt, <laughs> right? There wasn't any physical liability. There wasn't a, there wasn't like you know, they could step on our property and stub their toe or fall down or, you know, there wasn't a building that we would occupy. So there was, oh, I'm sorry. There was not much reason at that time for us to go to an LLC for a business that just didn't possess that much danger, uh, financial danger or physical danger. So, but when we got our store, our 1200 1,250 square foot store, we went to an LLC. So that this way, whenever we signed the lease, it was with the LLC, even though the LLC still didn't pr protect us, but we will get into that real life situation later. Again, we went into an LLC when we purchased our brick, I mean, when we signed our lease, our five-year lease for our brick and mortar store. To, and correct me or stop me if I'm wrong at any point. Um, the reason why is because there's fire codes that we had to meet, safety codes that we had to meet. Uh, there was robberies in the area, right? There's materials and stuff like that of the building that are inside that whenever we leave, you know, if somebody gets in there, uh, we had to have insurance, right? Yes. We had to have business insurance of, of a million dollar policy, right? Yeah. Of a million dollar policy and it had to cover everything just in case anything, we had security, uh, you know, it was a lot. So that was the reason why we went to an LLC, limited liability company, because just like the, just like Shelly just mentioned, uh, protects the owner's personal assets. So this way, in the case of a lawsuit or something like that, everything that we own is going to be protected because when we go to court, they are going to say, well, who is this business? Is it doing business as Carl Adams, straight out of content? Or is it LLC, FCD Violent and Apparel, which is its own entity in the legal world. Therefore, you sue the entity, not mm -hmm. necessarily the per person, but that's not always true. Go ahead. Yes, the DBA does not give you any additional liability protection as uh, LLC does. But in our experience with our store, um, business owners or who are those property owners, property owners that yeah. we were with, they wrote the contract a little different that we weren't experienced to know yes. that they kind of got over on us with our LLC. And we signed it as, it, instead of L, uh, the LLC being the guarantor, I personally was the guarantor, not realizing it should have been FCD Vine on Apparel. Yes. But they did that. I think they did that on purpose. But again, it's you, were, you even as the owner, of the LLC, if you just, which we just did, right? We we started the store or we we looked at the store, then we had the LLC and she is the entire owner of the LLC. We didn't know that before we do that, before you wanna go in and you know, lease property and stuff like that, you wanna start to put people in, in places. So you wanna put a CEO, COO, CFO, you want to put people in places so that you separate so that, and you want to get, what's the signee? You want to get a signee, right? Isn't that the proper term? Is that on there? The no. signee? Mm -mm. Yes, you want to. But yes, you do need, um, I did read that in here that you need the manager, yes. the types of uh, all that structure within yes. your company 
to delegate those responsibilities yes. and those um, things. Even if it's yes. just on paper, you still want that because if not, and you do like we did, and we teach you these things so that you don't make our mistakes, we go to sign and they need a they need a real name. You just can't sign Flash Custom Transfers LLC or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. You just can't sign that. A real name has to sign. But if that person is a title within the LLC, then the LLC is now held responsible. In our case, Chelly's name was on the lease. Therefore, even with the LLC, she's still responsible. Yes. Hard lessons we had to learn. Yes. Welcome to Flash Business Class. Yes, and they don't teach you. Nobody <laughs> teaches you that. People they say, get an LLC, and boom, you're like, great. I went to LegalZoom. I paid $700. I got an LLC. Great. Now I'm going to go lease a building for three years for oh $3,000 a month. Stop. Great. Then business fails, and then they're able to actually sue you, and you're like, no, the LLC is Yeah, no, to I have protection of my personal assets. I have an LLC. And they're like, no, ma'am, there's loopholes. You have yes. to know the correct verbiage. You have to know every single thing within this contract, which we had uh, someone look over our contract, yeah. but they were also not aware. Exactly. So talk about that. Talk about yeah, that. Yeah, well, I just did. We no, were... talk about the, the in depth about the um about how we had a commercial realtor look over the yes, contract we did have a commercial realtor and we asked him is there anything because we were worried this was our first time hey do you see any funny business here do you see something that we need to be concerned all this verbiage we're very new to he says everything looks great everything looks good he didn't mention anything about signing as a guarantor signing a, he didn't mention anything about that which he doesn't know what he doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. So we can't hold that against them. That's just us being naive within our business. We yes. thought we were covered with LLC. Essentially, we were not. What you got? Politely tap that like button the way <laughs> uh, on the way in while you're watching. Welcome Thank you, Thank Mr. Woods. 12 people we watching, 12 people watching. Over Please, here, leave your questions. Game, Please leave your questions. Y'all. Please leave your questions. We are going over, over DBA and LLC. You had some questions over there, some comments? No, he just said free game, y'all oh, fire. Yeah. Thank you, gutter boy. We appreciate yes. you. Yes. So yes, um, DB, yes, a DBA and LLC will allow you to operate your business under different names, but that's where the similarity ends. That's basically the only thing. You can operate under a different name, operate in a different name, but both have very different similarities and differences. Yes. Um, ba -ba, yes. LLC limits your personal liability. For business obligations, DBA does not give you any additional liability. So that's just to wrap up what we were just talking about. Yeah, and to touch on that, you've ne there's no Fortune 500 company. There's no Fortune 1000 company. That's a DBA. Doesn't okay, exist. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's no F Fortune 500 company. There's no major company, period, that exists that's a DBA. There's people that do things for a while as a DBA, but again, once lawsuits and stuff like that start kicking in, once you gain the ability, once you start making a certain amount of money, you're going to have to go to some sort of corporation or nonprofit organization or whatever you're going to choose to separate yourself. But again, you notice that we're not talking about like S Corps and uh, uh, what's the other one? Nonprofits, stuff like that, because that's not our experience. So a lot of people get on YouTube and videos and Instagram and TikTok and they talk about all types of business stuff and all this other stuff as if they actually have done it and they haven't. Us here, for everybody watching, we're only going to talk about the business that we've actually experienced. experienced. Mm -hmm. Great word. Yes. So you're not going to get any fluff. You're going to get you're going to get, you know, words, definitions, and then you're going to get real life examples of exactly of the heartaches that we had <laughs> to go through. So, you know, like the next video will be on taxes and stuff like that and the issues and the heartaches and the money that we had to go through. Heartaches you know? is a real deep word because it know. is heartache. It is a heartache. It was yeah. like heartaches. Yeah. You got a question and see what we got. Okay. J.M. True Apparel. Connecticut law might be different. I'm not sure. Uh... I'm brand new to this. Thank you guys for sharing the knowledge. Yes, let me write Texas because we I don't know about other states. I can't speak on other states. I can only speak on Texas. Well, we know LLC is federal. Because once you file LLC, you got to pay quarterly taxes within your state, but now you fall under a different you fall under a whole different category whenever you register federal taxes. Mm -hmm. So don't forget about that. You may be in a different state, 
But DBA is local to your state. Yeah. LLC, now you open up the door to the feds and they have a one-stop shop. <laughs> so yeah, the process of setting up a DBA is much more straightforward yes. than the LLC. You pay a one-time fee and you aren't required to file business information paperwork or comply with any annual reporting requirement. You can go to the courthouse. We go to the courthouse. I think yeah. we pay $12. Yep. And uh, it doesn't, also it doesn't protect you with um, like trademarking or anything like that. LLC can protect you from anything that you trademark if you do decide to trademark your name or anything like that. Yes. So that does protect you. Because uh, it keeps going into the mic. Go ahead. No, yeah, so Where just just so you know that uh, I know you're in a different state. He laughed. <laughs> I know you're in a different state, but like I said, when it comes to LLC, just think big boy because there's no major company that has a DBA. They just don't exist in the big in the you know the big oh, world yes, of business. Okay. Registering DBA does not typically give you the exclusive right to your business name. No. Forming an LLC gives you more protection because it ensures that another business entity can't be created in your state with the same name as your business. Yes. But neither an LLC nor DBA give you the name that level of protection you'd get with federally registered trademark. Yep, trademark and copyright. So we don't have any experiences with trademark as of now. Yes. So we can't touch on trademarking. Yep. I have a little experience with copyright and trademarking. Baby B! Where? A B! Oh, dang, another that one? That is the third B this week. Sorry, this is a live show. Where is it? It's right there on top of the, um, oh, God. the thing. There's a bee's nest in here. There's a bee. Get them. Okay, the bee is, bee is dead. It's like a wasp. Is that a bee? It's a wasp. No, it's a wasp. Yeah, There's a wasp, wasp nest somewhere in here. Sorry, guys. Good catch. <laughs> Good catch. It almost got you, babe. It no, almost I know. got you. I also they come out, it's like one a day. Oh, done number. Yes. Let me write that down because that's also going to be um, another subject that we touch on. Yes, that's a good one. You're right. Your done number. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to write that down. Because... But even, even just the, oh, whoa, 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 baby, you got to watch out. I didn't know that's leaning on everything. Yeah. Even though what? To even touch on that. And we'll do that whenever we get into like our banking and stuff like that. We have a done number as well. Does that mean that we automatically get, yeah, build your done number and go get a loan? Doesn't matter. Any bank is still going to run your personal credit. So you could have a done number of, you know, two billion. Yeah, great. You could even have a few hundred thousand dollars in income. But if your personal credit isn't what it's supposed to be, the chances of you getting a loan or getting the type of loan that you want is going to be slim to none especially from a bank. Now, they have all of these new entities to gain money like Cabbage and Lending Tree or Open Lend or whatever these other companies are called. And yeah, you can go through them because those are the ones who are kind of, they're privately owned and that's how they make their money is really from collections. They give out the money, but then they're, you know, they're not federally backed. You know, these companies, they can go under and stuff like that. Go ahead. I like no, I'm just trying to find a good, because this is kind of just going in. So you're filling in while I read okay. what's the next good one to go. What's up? What's up? One does it. What's up? What's up? Offset in a sense. Can you use a D? Can you use the D? He said D B D B A. Oh, D what's little B. No, I'm sorry. It's a little B. Can you use the D B A and L O C to form protection? Well, you wouldn't use... The DBA and an LLC, LLC to, uh, to perform protection, you would just use the LLC. Limited liability. Protect owner's personal assets. Like I said, no big business has a DBA, so you wouldn't need this. So if you have a, say you start locally, say you're doing a lawn care business, right? You're doing lawn care business and you start as a DBA because you just want to pay $10 at your local city and you start up your business, you got your one lawnmower and you start it. Now say six months down the line, you know, business is booming, it's August, you're at the peak of your season and you need to hire somebody else and you need to hire a riding mower. Well, then you probably want to go into an LLC. So you're going to take, you're going to call whatever company you want to create your LLC. There's a bunch of them out there. Mm -hmm. We use LegalZoom. This is in no way, shape, form or fashion. I don't recommend using LegalZoom. Well, it was pretty easy. Yeah, but they overcharge way too much. They do overcharge a lot, but it made it easy. Yeah, they did. It usually, right here, it says you, it's a one-time fee here that's usually very cheap. Um, and then with an LLC, it costs about 
a few hundred dollars. Yes. Um, and registration fees and reoccurring yearly fees. So it's yes. a little bit more. So does, oh, so we're gonna have to pay for ours again. Mm. Theoretically, right? If it's yearly fees. Maybe we pay that in our taxes. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll definitely find we'll out. Keep we'll updated. definitely find out. But anyway, so yeah. Oh yeah, this is our first year filing with an LLC. So yeah, so you go from, you know, doing cutting grass with yourself, right? Cutting grass by yourself, DBA, come August, now it's time to do an LLC because you got a riding mower and you just hire somebody to help you out. So if you just have your DBA and you're and that guy or girl is cutting grass in somebody's lawn and they slip off the tractor and, or and nick themselves or cut themselves and all you have is a DBA, you are 100% liable. Under an LLC, you can now, I mean, it's not right, but unfortunately, when you go to the court, hopefully you hire a lawyer, they're going to tell you, well, this is your entity. Okay, well, they can only sue how much the entity is worth for damages and stuff like that. But please take care of your people, and, you know, and don't do like, that's why, you know, places like all these Walmarts and stuff like that, they have all the, they're so protected, you can never really take them. You know, you can slip fall in Walmart and they could pay you, you know, $100 million. I'm with it. The biggest difference between a DBA and an LLC is liability protection. Under the DBA, there is no distinction between the business owner and the business. So you are just one. Yes. Um, the business owner is liable for all expenses occurred on behalf of the business. Yep. On the other hand, the LLC provides limited liability protection. This business owner's personal property remains completely separate from the business. In addition, the DBA does not provide any tax benefits. An LLC, owners can choose a corporate structure such as S-Corporation to receive special tax treatments. Yes. So you do get special tax credits and um, requirements, tax yeah, it, treatment. It, but it all depends on how much you make. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different. But with DBA, like it said, forward, cut and dry, it's just to give your business a nickname. So you're yes. not operating under yourself. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So you're, yeah, because you're going to get an EIN number with both. But mm, you yeah, have you, to create an EIN, num EIN and it's free. No, that's what I'm saying. You can get one with Yeah, both, yeah, yeah. Create an EIN number. It's not going to separate you. It's This one definitely 100% is going to use your social security number for everything. This one, you there's ways to get out of it. We haven't used those ways to get, you know, to not use your social security number. We're still very new. Yes. So we're still figuring all that out. Like I said, we're just teaching up to where we know and where we're experienced. Um, I think after this, a uh, couple of months will be more experienced once we have filed uh, within our business with our LLC and all of that good stuff. Yeah. So, uh oh. No, no, no. It's not uh, gonna mess up your life like it messed up mine. No. Oh, you're not on that phone. Yeah, I'm on this one. And this guy he said, said he thought he you were gonna use a flip flop to kill the bee. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, and he said I'm doing fashion. I'm using you guys' formula. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing fashion, you should be good with a DBA. Yeah. I don't see anybody trying to sue no. with a DBA. No, you can do it. Like I said, we did a DBA for a year. We, we only went to the LLC because of the store. Yeah, because we wanted that protection. But now we are good that we're using an LLC because there's so many other financial benefit, benefits that come down the line um, and the, the abilities for our write-offs and stuff like that. It's just tremendous. Mm -hmm. And this is what we were talking about earlier. The LLC uh, also can file a DBA and use trade name. This is a difference that is different. Hold on. The LLC can also file a DBA and use a trade name that is different from the company's name, the own personal name. For example, the owner of Mana Bakery LLC may opt in for a separate trade name to test out a new branding or marketing strategy uh, for its new cookies. Thanks to DBA, the owner can do that without using her main bakery. So yes. that's what I was saying about getting a diff getting a DBA under the parent company to uh, test, like they said, test it out or whatever, start new businesses within within your LLC, underneath your LLC. So you can yes. do DBAs, LLC all together. Yes. It's just like managing all that. And we kind of did that with our three companies, except we kind of did it convoluted and backwards. 
So we started a DBA instead of starting an LLC because the first company we had was Flash Custom Designs. Yes. Then the second company we had was FCD Vinyl and Apparel, which we LLC'd. And then the third company we have is Flash Custom Transfers. And then the fourth company is Flash Graphics. Yep. So moving forward, if we were to do all of these, but we would probably still LLC all three of them because you can do business between each corporation mm -hmm. on paper. There's a lot of things that you can do. We haven't done it yet. So again, like she says, we're not going to really step into it. But these are all things that have now opened up for us to be able to do. Um, now that we are a corporation, now that we are a limited liability company that has been running for a year, we're about to file taxes. Um, and we have over, you know, a certain amount made. So now when it comes to banks and borrowing and lending and stuff like that, we are viewed as a legit company. Yes. Oh, also a little quick tip. Uh, businesses usually fail within their first year. This is just a well-known thing. So when it comes to, and not Texas, but when it comes to, uh, taxes and, and, um, and incomes and how much money you made and stuff like that, you the, the general rule is you can file, you can, sh you, because it's so difficult to create a solid business and last young, longer than a year, like for us this year, we probably aren't even going to break even because of expenses and stuff like that. Cause it's really hard. It's extremely hard. Even you see companies, like I said, in the other video, um, Netflix was in, was in the red up until 2020. You know what I mean? A lot of businesses operate like that. So, uh, whenever you're filing an LLC, there's a lot of things that you can write off. And then at the end of the year, you're like, dang, uh, you know, we didn't make anything. And you are allowed to really do that for the first, they say, three years. But after that, you want to start to show that your company's making a profit. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of companies who operate in the red for many, many, many years. So the whole uh, industry of business is forgiving. It's just doing it right from the beginning. And, but you know, unfortunately in the United States, most businesses fail within the first year and the yeah. worst business is the restaurant business. Oh yeah. Yep. And it's just important to know all of these small things before you start your business yes. to figure out what is best for you, figure out, just do your research on everything and anything before you start, just so you know what you're getting into. Do research on taxes or uh, certificates that you may need on, um, DBA, LLCs, all of those things, the EIN numbers, tax ID numbers, sales tax permits. There's so many yes. different things that you will need. Uh, if you just jump right in, you'll, you'll have no idea. Oh, and another thing, since you were talking about that, because you're talking about the sales tax numbers and stuff like that, don't think that limited liability protects you against taxes. It doesn't. <laughs> So you see a lot of people and they're joking and make videos, get an LLC. And I woke up in the morning, I got me three LLCs oh and get an God. LLC and get the money and da, 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 da. Listen, any money that you get, well, loans, those aren't taxable. So if you get a loan, it's not taxable. But any money, that, write that out. yeah, right. Loans. Any money that you, any money that you make, I don't know if that's, yeah, loans are considered. We'll do that on another show. Yeah, on another, another. Loans, <laughs> loans are considered debt because you have to pay them back. So it becomes an expense. That's why they're not taxable. But I think that there are some, are some loans that are taxable, but I'm not sure. But I know uh, predominantly that you want to acquire loans to acquire debt so that you have an expense, yet you have the money to still continue to operate and grow your business. Because business is not about, oh, I made this much money or this much money. Business is about growing. It's about growing and expanding and and this way you, your business is able to operate, even if it's not making too much money, you're still employing people and you're still making a product and selling it. But uh, DBA or LLC does not protect you against taxes. So just be very uh, aware that whenever you go get your tax ID license, if you want to sell shirts, this gentleman said he's selling uh, fashion, right? Mm -hmm. Great. He's doing fashion. He goes and gets a tax ID number. What is he going to owe every, and he gets an LLC, what is he going to owe? Oh, to his state every quarter, unless he lives in quarterly taxes. Quarterly so there's a taxes. difference between uh, when you acquire a sales tax permit, uh, you have to taxes is a whole nother episode. But there's a difference between sales tax permits, which you have to pay quarterly and the end of the year uh, federal yes. taxes. So there's very there's two different taxes that we had no idea about. 
like I said, we just jumped in. Let me get this. Let me, oh, I need that. I need an EIN. I need a sales tax permit. I need this. I need this. I got everything I needed and I was ready to start my business. Had no idea what I was doing. Had no sense of direction. I had nobody to tell me, wait, are you, are you sure you're ready to start paying quarterly taxes? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. So these are, you know, that's going to be another episode, uh, just kind of explaining our experience with those taxes yeah, situations. In Texas. In Texas. But it's a great state. It's a great Texas. state. It's a great state. Oh, now it is. Yeah, it's a great state for, for income-wise because, <laughs> you know, there's no state tax. And a lot of these people who are watching, you guys have state tax. We don't. Well, you know, here in Texas, don't. Yeah. But I think that's, I think that's a pretty good, solid first episode. Um, again, if you guys are listening, make sure you watch this video on YouTube, straight out of the content, and on Flash Custom Transfers as well. And, you know, continue for continue to listen and check out for all the other informational business videos. I'm not ending it, but I'm just letting people know. No, that's Doing good. Drop, definitely hit that subscribe button if this is your first time tuning in. Please leave comments down below so that we can answer them in our next video. So we will come up with what our next video is. And we will continue to always do these live mm -hmm. so that you guys can um, can communicate with us live and answer your questions. and then, Or we will answer your questions. And then after that, we will upload the video so you guys can watch it and then leave your comments there as well. Yeah. Operate under different name. I just want to have that yeah. under there so in case someone's like, okay. Yep, doing business as, as just operating under a different name. Uh-huh, protects the owner's personal assets. So does anybody have any questions before we head out? How long have we been doing? I feel like this is short. Tax registration, isn't that included with registering for LLC? No. Isn't that included with registering for tax registration? No. No, no I don't think so. I registered separately right yeah you registered yeah we read well i don't know how it is i know where you're it at. might be different who sets up your llc yeah because our llc was set up by legal zoom and none of that was included with i know you can get your llc's from different places yeah and tax registration is really dependent on what licenses you carry to sell whatever product in your area so we had to get our texas Sales tax Texas permit. sales tax permit. So that's the only well, yeah. Once we got our Texas sales tax permit, and then yeah, there was no sign up because we we're responsible for keeping all of our numbers on what we make and then filing that at the end of the year. Yeah. So I don't know if there's any registration or I don't remember there being any. I don't yeah. think so. Mm -mm. But again, this is just our experience. We're not professionals. We're not licensed. We're not. Well, we're professionals. We just aren't professionals in telling you guys That's what financial I'm, advice. We're not professional. We are professional people. Tax, LLC, DBA people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Disclaimer. We yes, that's the disclaimer. Just two business owners that are sharing our experience yes. and what we know about these subjects. Yes. And what, yeah, exactly here in the state of Texas and what we went through and what you could go through and what to avoid. So, yeah, to end this, if you, are you ready to end it? Yeah, okay, I yeah. feel like it's really short. But to end it, we would only do a DBA unless you are anticipating or you think your next move is going to have some type of liability. But also do an LLC and grow from your DBA if your business is expanding. Mm. Does that sound right? Or, yeah, that sounds good. Right? So it's just a start. A DBA is a start. But, hey, if you want to start as an LLC, you totally can. Yes. Yes. You totally, 100%. Jump in the water. Jump in the and water. Head on to LLC land. Head on. Yep. It just costs so much up front that a lot of people just start the DBA. Yeah, just like yeah. we did. Yeah. You know? Because we learned a lot that first year. Mm -hmm. So much. So much. So much. So, so, so much we learned that first year. Oh, yeah. The account that we opened. Yeah, we learned so much that first year. You didn't give me a twitch. I uh, know. Uh, yep, so I think uh, that's so it. So any more questions before we head out on our first After Flash LLC, business which class. business license do y'all recommend for apparel? A they business license? Like what type of business license? Our sales, because for apparel, we had to have a retail license. The sales tax permit license, yeah. yeah. They don't, I don't know if they have that in your state, but we had, that. We, you have to have that if you sell apparel in the state of Texas. Yeah. Where is he? I think he's in Oklahoma. Yeah. I didn't want to say people where they're from, so. Oh. That's why I just left that out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Mr. Wood. Yeah. She don't know how to. What? Everybody.
everybody yeah. it says like Brooklyn in the house. I know, but you don't. People I can't be assume. happy. You got eight people. Any more questions before we head out yeah, on I our first episode of Flash Business Class? Over here we got we have three people over here. How many do we have? Only eight. Eight people, perfect. And this will grow. I think since if we do this. Now we need a video showing how many or how you make a championship Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> That's funny. They got to win a chip first. <laughs> BK, they got to win a chip first. Or how to make it. Yeah, just like I said, just find the image and then send it to us. So we're going to set up like a schedule. Like we'll be here every, what you call it? Maybe we can talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll try so to work more on our schedule. Have the anticipation like, oh, class is on whatever day at this yeah. time. What kind of, I want to set up um, a schedule just so you guys can, kind of like a real class. Oh, I have class every Tuesday at four or whatever yeah. the case may be. So we will keep you updated when. Can um, we get a screenshot of the board info? That's what I was saying. I wanted to do that board. Oh, well, we're, we I'll move out the way so you guys can. And again, this video is going to be put on the channel as a regular video. And then, so I'm going to go edit it. I, on YouTube, you can't download it to the next day. So I'm going to download it tomorrow and then put it up as a regular video. Mm -hmm. And you guys will be able to screenshot it and save it. I mean, you could do that once this is done too. But Yeah, I didn't write as much as I thought I was going to write. No, and we will. We'll write more stuff as we We're go. We're learning. But I like how we had true definition. Because yes. a lot of people like to just spew their own opinion. No, I did too. It, yeah. That's important. That, yeah. This is really important to have that and then work off of our experience from yep. each of these definitions. Oh, So I have, okay. Oh, uh, comment down below any other subjects. We have a few subjects that we want to talk about, but please comment down below any subjects that you want to learn about that you need to hear about. Uh, Dunn's number it was really good, so maybe that business credit will be yes, um, business credit a, is a, a big class. One. Business credit. Um, we do want to work on taxes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Just things that we're learning that we want to teach all of you guys. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Big faces. Peace, love, and harmony. Peace, love.